Apache Solar is a standalone search engine that can be set up for your Drupal Commerce website. It's both fast and scalable. In this demo, I'll show you how it works for product searches and how you can make additional product field data sources searchable. First, let's see how our current site search works. I've searched for the term dress, and as you can see, we have two products that match this term already. But what would happen if we searched for the Slenderella brand name instead? I'll try this. The search results came back empty, even though we know there is at least one product of that brand. Let's bring back the dresses to be sure. There it is. We need to add brand to solar for it to become a searchable data source. To start, I'll go to Search API Configuration Pages. On the Search API homepage, we see a few different things. The Solar Search Server and the Search Index, which in our case is the products. I'll edit the index. We're now looking at our Search Index properties. We see the title and our content data sources, which, if I scroll down, we find that product is selected. I want to manage the individual fields for the product, so I'll go to the Fields tab. This page shows index product fields that are being used in the website in some way, not just for searching. Right now, we only need to focus on fields that are set as full text. This type is what makes the field searchable. Currently, the category fields, SKU, and title are searchable. We don't see a full text brand field in this list yet. Full text fields also have a boost setting. This gives search priority, so a boost of 5 will yield a higher search importance than a boost of 2. All right, let's add the brand field. This pop-up is how I'll select our field. Because the data type has already been narrowed down to product, we mostly see fields within the product entity. I'll drill down to the product brand field and add a brand name property. Once added, a success message appears at the top of the window. I'll close the window by clicking Done. It's important to know that our work isn't saved yet. If I scroll down to the bottom, we see the new field. Most of these settings can be left as is, but I'll change it to a full text type so that it becomes searchable. I'll then need to adjust the boost. I'll make it the same as the other categories, since the brand is really just another method of categorization here. Now I can save the changes. We can see that our changes have been saved along with a message telling us to re-index in order for the changes to take effect. I can do this from within the View tab. Here we see an index status that indicates 0 of 67 items need indexing. Our data source for products shows the same thing. To index, all I need to do is click the Index Now button, then wait for Solar to do its thing. Success! All of our items have been indexed. Let's go back to the site and try it out. All right. We're now back at our previous search results for dresses. I'll try searching for the brand name Slenderella and see what happens. And there we go. We have one result, which is the expected behavior. Let's try another brand, just to be sure. I know Bandu should have more than one result. Perfect. Every product of the Bandu brand is returning from our search. This completes this demo video on customizing your solar product search. We used brand as an example, but really any field from any type of content could be used. It's quite powerful.